Hi everyone. So this is the choropleth map we are going to create today. So this is the multi polygon of the Indian state of Kerala, which consists of fourteen different districts. So we are going to uh, create a choropleth map showing the variation in population across these fourteen different districts using different shades of red. So let's begin. First of all, I'm going to open my QGIS. Okay. So the the first thing I'm going to do is that I need to import the shape file or the vector polygon, the multi polygon of my state Kerala. So you should be ready with uh, a multi polygon in, if you're planning to do this uh, choropleth mapping. So I'm already having this file here, Kerala GeoJSON. So this is a vector multi polygon containing 14 different districts, individual polygons. So if I choose this option, identify features and click on a particular district, you can see the name of that district, the state name, census code, district code, etc, etc. So um, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to right click and open its attribute table. So here you can see 14 districts and some additional information as I mentioned. And what I need to do is that I have another file, a CSV file. containing the population data. So here also I'm having those 14 districts and the corresponding population. You should note that the district names in this column in the CSV file and in the attribute table should be the same. There shouldn't be any spelling mistake. Uh, they should be exactly the same, the spelling and everything. So in order to combine these two, what you have to do is that you have to import that csv file containing population data into qgis for that you can go to layer and add layer and you are going to add a delimiter text layer which is going to be the csv file so i'm going to choose population data here so you can download this data from the link i have provided in the description uh, do check it out so i'm going to open it and after opening your data you need to make sure of another thing that is under geometry definition you have to choose no geometry because it's just a table it it doesn't have any uh, geometrical attribute associated with it now click add and simply close it done so if i right click and open attribute table of our population layer you can see the district and population so what i'm going to do is that uh, i'll show you both layers Okay, so this is the GeoJSON file, the multi polygon. I need to copy this population uh, column from this CSV data to the GeoJSON file. So how can I do that? It's simple. I'm closing this. You have to right click on the Kerala GeoJSON file, the multi polygon layer and go to properties. And here you will find an option called manage joins to other layers. Click there and you are going to add a new join so the layer with which we are going to uh, create the join is going to be population and the join field is going to be district and the target field is also going to be district so based on the district column based on the names of all 14 individual districts we will be combining those two data frames that is why i said uh, the names of the districts uh, should be same there shouldn't be any spelling you know changes and all now you have to click ok apply okay so now if i right click on this uh, multi polygon layer and go to open the attribute table see the population column is here here it goes so the column name is uh, it's been automatically named as population population and we need to change it because this is the csv files name and this is the column name so how to change this column name it's simple all you have to do is go to processing go to toolbox and here you have to search rename okay this one rename field under uh, vector table <coughs> click there and your input layer is going to be the uh, multi polygon geojson file and the field to rename the column name you need to rename 
that is going to be population population and the new name is going to be population that's it so if i click run and close it so this was our initial uh, multipolygon and this is the multipolygon of kerala with the renamed column so if i right click and open the attribute table you can see the renamed column here so one more thing i would like to <coughs> mention is that uh, when you are importing your csv file you have to make sure that there is no comma separation between these values what i meant is that uh, sometimes uh, there will be commas in between comma separators in between so if that is the case then it's going to be problematic you won't be able to join your csv file with the geojs one file properly so in such instances what you can do is that you have to select the uh, cells containing the values and press control plus one and you have in the if if there are comma separators present then this column will be ticked and you have to uncheck it to remove the comma separators okay i just showed it that's it sometimes the commas will be there so when you get error that could be a possible reason okay now let's create our choropleth map and for that i'm going to right click on our new rename layer and i'm going to properties and you have to go to control feature symbology and here under this drop down menu you have to choose graduator and from the value field you, ha you have to specify population because based on the population value we are going to apply a color ramp of our choice so you can see the red color color ramp here you can choose any different different color ramp so spectral rocket anyways let it be a red for now which is my personal choice and after that you have to click classify done so there are different methods to classify like equal interval uh, natural breaks you can try those but i would prefer equal count or quantile or natural breaks and you can increase the number of classes if you want by clicking here now there are eight different classes and once you are done you can simply click apply and okay see based on the population value uh, uh, the districts have been classified different colors of red uh, have been allotted to different different districts so the next thing i want to do is that i need to add labels of these districts on this multi polygon and for that i'm going to right click on this renamed layer i'm going to properties so here there is an option called control feature labeling click there and from this drop down menu you have to choose single labels and the value of label is going to be the district so it is it is in the district column that we are having all, the names of all 40 districts select it and click apply so the names have appeared i need to do some uh, customization so for that there are different different uh, options available to modify the text so i'm going to increase the text size a little bit hmm, keep it seven and there's an option called buffer so if i draw a buffer and click apply see a buffer a white colored buffer has been added around those labels so you can reduce the size of the buffer here click apply again i'm going to reduce it a little more click apply and you can reduce the opacity as well mm, fine so this is it we have successfully created uh we have successfully implemented a choropleth map mapping so the next thing we have to create a you know map out of this by adding legend and all so i'm going to choose new print layout click ok and here you have to choose this add map option and click on a corner and draw your map here and you can click here move item content and press ctrl and zoom in to magnify your map you are increasing the scale actually actually it looks kind of blurred but it's all right because when you create the final output this will be you know it 
this will be you know uh, uh, it will look good actually so now we need to add our legends so for adding legends you can choose this option add legend you just click there and draw the legend box somewhere hmm. and I need to rename these uh, legend so for that if you click on this legend a legend uh, this option will appear legend so I'm going to unselect auto update and I am going to remove these unwanted legends population and care log Geo, GeoJSON file you can see here population and GeoJSON we don't need those so simply remove it and next I need to provide a name to this layer legend population I'll call it population done and if I go further down there is an option to increase the font size of these uh, legend items so I'm choosing fonts and text formatting and first of all I'm going to increase the item font a little bit then the subgroup heading this population heading I'm going to increase okay finally uh, I'm going to keep it here and you can simply export as an image or as a svg file or a pdf so if you want to add more map elements like scale you can do it here so there's a scale bar and there's a north arrow so you can add different different map elements I, and i how elaborately explained all these about adding all these map elements in a separate video the link to which i have provided in the description do check it out so in that video i have explained about adding grid cells coordinates and also just check it out so that's it and you can I'm going to remove this uh, north arrow now and I'm going to keep it here okay so I'm going to export this map as an image PNG image uh, let it be in my desktop this population map and you have to specify a higher resolution let it be uh, 500 dpi and I want to open this PNG image after exporting. I'm going to click save. Okay, that's it. We have successfully created a coroplith map uh, showing the pop variation in population across different 40 different districts of the state of Kerala. So that's it. Uh, thanks for watching.